South Korea has officially passed a bill that will ban the consumption of dog meat nationwide, therefore shutting down a lot of dog farms. But the question is, will the rest of Asia follow? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, guys, this is going viral right now. I don't know if it's going viral because it was a stereotype. I mean, it just sounds like something... They will get a lot of press, right? Right, right, right. So we're going to go through the comment section, which is, of course, what you can expect. But we're also going to give you our own thoughts because I think it does speak a lot on, like, that stereotype of Asians eating dogs, right? And now it's actually banned, so it clearly was legal for a while in certain countries, maybe more done in certain countries but, than others. But we got to be clear here that in every country that does consume dogs, okay, in uh, South Korea, China, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, it makes up less than 1% of the meat consumption. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like a hyper niche thing from the old days, from the poverty days. Uh, a lot of people view it as like medicinal to make like soups and stews and things like that. So it's like, I just want to be clear here that even in Asia, it's less than 1%. Right, right, right. So anyways, guys, uh, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys but what could taste good on your... I'm just kidding. No, just check out Small Ass Sauce. Uh, it's very delicious, guys. This is from America. There is no dog, dog products used to this. I mean, man, this, this is, like is funny. Dude, we have to laugh as Asians because... I'm just going to address it that there's some comments that are like, oh, what? It's banned. They actually had to ban it. So what was the stereotype yeah. did exist? Yeah. So why were they mad about all these jokes that we were giving them all these years? Why was Timmy Kwan always bugging out first in high of, school? First of all, Timmy Kwan was bugging out in high school because he, he was eating a ham sandwich and you told him he was a dog eater, right? So you're trying to dehumanize us when you're trying to say that we're eating dogs here in America, okay? No, no, no. Yes. So when, when Western people accuse accused Asians of being dog eaters, it meant that you were like a lower species because you're eating species that we deem off limits. But it, the truth is, like we said, it's a older thing and it's a more rural thing from like, it's a very small portion of the population. Yes, listen. But it is true. I'll say this, even me, if I meet somebody who's had dog before and like seeked it out, it does not bother me. It, it does not repel me in the yeah. same way that a Western person or somebody from no, the Middle East I, might be like... No, because I'm assuming they ate that legally cooked at a restaurant, not like raw off the bone. Like, and also I wouldn't really, I, I wouldn't be interested in trying it. I would not be interested in trying it, but I'm not going to like shame people who tried it over there when it was legal. You know what I mean? Um, and also cooked and marinated properly and stuff like that. But I think like, David, do you think South Korea did this, finally banned it, pushed this through because of all the attention that Korea is getting through the Hallyu, K-pop, K-dramas. It's like, at this point, it's almost like Korea's like, oh, like, you know, like, so many people love us, but one thing that they don't love about us is the dog farm. So maybe we should just ban them. Well, there was a big youth movement uh, that was protesting, and obviously there are dog farmers that are much older, more rural, and those two groups were, like, sort of clashing in government. Mm. But uh, ultimately, the younger, more, I guess, whatever you want to say, westernized or globalized yeah. or whatever you want to call it, that group ended up winning out and getting the law passed. So in 2027, that's when it will come into effect. Um, let's just get into the comment section, and that's the most interesting part about this. Somebody said, a little behind the times on this one, huh? And then somebody said, uh, this Korean guy said, Korean people only ate dogs when we were very poor a long time ago. They had a specific breed for eating. It was not like golden retrievers, by the way, guys. It's still sold, but it's very rare. And most young people have never even tried it. I'm Korean. I live there. Neither have I. Mm. Um, somebody said, man, yes. this, is long, this legislation is long overdue for a country as economically developed as they are. And then somebody said, uh, you know, basically there was some arguing about how rare or not rare it is. But a lot of people were like, dude, if you just live your life in the city, you'll never even see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do personally know a couple Korean people who have eaten a dish made of dog meat, but it was not in the city. And it was like an, in a traditional, they eat it. Even old people who eat it only eat it mostly during a certain time of the year, during the summer months and like to, because it's supposed to have some medicinal purposes, right? Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe also eating a young dog meat, it, it provides certain nutrients. Everybody has these theories about different types of meat, you know, everything like that. But anyways, like I said, it is not widespread. Even in China, obviously there is a dog festival 
somewhere in China, but it's not I widespread. I Guiyang is the actual city. I think itself. it's Yulin. Yulin. Oh, Yulin. Yeah, Yulin. Yulin. Yeah. So, but but guess what? Like ninety nine percent of people have never eaten it. Yeah, I mean, um, have I seen it on a menu in China before when I was traveling around? I think I have, but obviously I didn't order it. Like we said, guys, these things, this even like is kind of difficult to talk about amongst Asian Americans because I feel like some people they've adopted, you know, this sense that it's like hyper evil. You know what I mean? <clears throat> right. So it's like, um, but but I think the reason why South Korea had to ban it is not because it's actually eaten a lot, even though maybe per capita it's eaten. I mean, I don't know. I just don't think it's eaten a lot. But the reason why they had to ban it is because I think the attention that they're getting and they actually had dog farms. You know, in Japan, there is no actual written law, I believe, that bans the eating of dog meat, but it's just that so few people do it it's not an issue. But yeah, in Japan, what's controversial is whaling and the dolphin hunts, right? And a lot of people are like, everybody always points at Japan for whaling and dolphin hunts, but they do it a lot in actually Icelandic and Scandinavian countries. But it seems like those uh, ones are not as like under high scrutiny. You know? I, mean, I mean, for a while, it was very controversial that the Native American tribes in the Seattle area in Washington got to, you know, they wanted to hunt a whale like once a year or every season. It's their tradition. It's their tradition. But obviously, they're like spearing a whale in, well, in the they're shooting it with a gun in twenty twenty three. Yeah, yeah. Because spearing it was like too slow or whatever. I don't know. There was a, like a, a whole bunch of people trying to stop them from getting their boats out yeah. into the water. But then the yeah. you know it was the law enforcement was getting involved. It was crazy. Anyway, um, somebody's like saying, what is the difference between a pig, a dog, or cattle? for slaughter and it was really interesting because there was two different types of people that were w wondering this question Andrew there was like a pro protein crowd that was just like it's all protein to me and other vegans were like yeah you ban dog you should ban it all so I'm saying that there was two different mm -hmm. camps asking this question about why do we have <sighs> speciesism or why do we rank things like okay that's an animal that's closer to us even though for example like it's been shown on studies that cows and certain types of pigs may even have a average iq higher than a dog but what makes a dog like the man's best friend you know what i'm saying versus like a really smart pig but it's like nobody's gonna question it if you you hug that pot belly pig and then you you cook it up the next week well to me usually it's some type of set of beliefs that's gonna stop you from eating meat whether it's religion right obviously pork is a popular one that you can't eat in many religions multiple religions but i guess like yeah, I don't know. What is it about? Is it just because dogs are domesticated and everybody has a pet dog? Right. Like, like you know, Koreans still have a lot of pet dogs that they don't eat. You know what I mean? Like, that's actually or like... China, they Asian, got a lot of... Yeah, I Chinese, mean, Asians in general, period, have a lot of dog pets. Like, they love their pets, you know? So I think it's like, I don't know. I mean, but I, on the other hand, I do understand... That maybe in now nowadays you don't have to raise dogs for meat, but there was a time when maybe the only protein you could get was dog, and that was out of necessity, and that was okay because like that's a good reason. Right, right. Of course, there was a bunch of jokes and a lot of people that like. There's people just like doing the clapping emojis, but there's other people who are like saying way harsher comments, right? Like, what the F? Why wait till 2027? Just do it right away. And then other people are like, dude, these people have been raising, you know, the f they're just farmers, essentially. Like, they're viewing themselves as livestock farmers. Yeah. That's their own perception to themselves. Yeah. But obviously, the Western world is viewing it with a different eye. Ultimately, like I said, for me, I'm against it. I'm against it, but I'm not against it necessarily in the same way that a Western person is against it. I'm against it because we should just move beyond that. And like we said, I, I do buy the argument that like dogs have been through a domestication process over hundreds of years from wolves to become dogs. So I can see that being a pretty good argument to ban it. You mean because we've domesticated that? Yeah, because it went through some sort of systemized, you know what I mean, domestication from okay. wolves. And that means dogs. we should ban the, the meat of it? Yeah, I could see why that, okay. that's, that's the logic. I guess... Ultimately, Andrew, what's your takeaway? There's a, it went, went, went around the horn and back. like all. You know what I mean? There's people arguing all in this comment section. What's the list of banned meats worldwide? Is there a banned meat list worldwide? Is there an international banned meat list? Right, because like Muslims can't eat pork, right? Uh, Hindus can't eat beef. But I'll tell you this. Like, if you're uh, poor in Asia or Africa, you're going to eat some dog. Like if it's around and you're poor. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, but then... The, I guess, you know, maybe South Korea's not in that position anymore. I guess I think it's just really funny what 
people find disgust. I guess there is going to be eventually, and, and this is kind of what we're seeing right now, is that there's kind of a world standard of at least developed countries, which South Korea is a developed country, obviously, a world standard of do's and don'ts. And what we're starting to see is like uh, dog meat, probably in the advanced world, and maybe China eventually will do it. I and, think. And that, is this based off like GDP per capita? Or, yeah, uh, like entrance G- into or, certain or like international, like your your uh, international uh, presence. Right. You know what I mean? G seven countries. Your soft et cetera, power, et cetera, Listen, yeah. if you're a country with a lot of soft power, probably shouldn't be videotaping and raising a bunch of dogs to eat. Right. That's just not going to play well on the global stage. Right. right? There's a global standard. But you know what's really funny, David? is that there's not a global standard. There's a global standard of things you can't eat, but there's not a global standard of things like how many school shootings you can have. Or, or drug because, usage. Because in Asia, I'll tell you this, what they find way more disgusting than raising dogs to eat is they find it disgusting at how many school shootings America has. Because they're like, oh my gosh, like I know we were like raising some dogs maybe in like this part of the rural town, but like you guys have like 100 school shootings a year. Like, literally, kids are going into schools and shooting their classmates and teachers. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's very interesting the way what what everybody's, like, accepted threshold is for different things, even amongst developed countries with high GDP per capita. Yeah, I mean, that, a, lot a lot of people of would argue that no developed country should have the amount of school shootings that we have in America. Yeah, I remember when they took away lockers when I was in middle school because people were fearing that kids were storing guns in the locker. Um... I'll say this, man. Ultimately, do I think the rest of Asia will follow? I think ultimately they will, but it'll be a, it'll be a while. I think it'll China, de- China, listen, yeah. China's a huge country. It's way, way bigger than Korea. So I think it is going to be harder for them. They're not going to find as urgent of a need to ban dog meat, but they also, I don't think that makes up a significant portion of the meat either, you know, especially if you're not in the super, super rural towns. So. But for sure, I mean, I think the images that end up going viral in certain circles where people are looking for it. does look it, gross. And, and it does, it looks and gross. It does uh, to that crowd, not that they were going to be pro-Asian anyway, it probably dehumanizes those Asians, at least based off people's internet comments. But, but again, guys, if it's Timmy Kwan eating a chicken sandwich, man, stop calling him a dog eater. That's disrespectful. And then also you saw what happened of that Thai restaurant that got falsely accused of serving dog meat. It was a Thai restaurant. And then they closed. In Fresno, California. Yeah. And they got a whole bunch of bad press. It was not true. They had to close down for a few months. Then they rebranded, came back, and they're trying to be successful now because the, the guy's got to feed his family. So shout out to Love and Thai in Fresno, California. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time with the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.